Recording in progress. Just uh, from what you saw, how do you think uh, Aiton got going in the first half? He made shots um, in a in a spot where <clears throat> he's um, been catching it all season, uh, right in that pocket. Um, he he's a um, good talent. He has a good touch around the rim. He had um, he was on tonight. Yeah, I mean, just just with what they can do in the pick and roll, CP Aiton and, and some shooters, just how how good do they force you to be on defense to, to keep up with that? Um. They attacked. Um, they attacked the open area um, and got good looks, um, especially with Aiden in the beginning of the game. Um, CP did a good job of getting to his spots, um, and everybody else just fell in line. Um, we just try to got to try to get some better contests on some of those shots and just trying to be in the right spot. Yeah, and there was that stretch in the fourth where you know two times down the court they missed three shots get three offensive rebounds. Is that just an example of where you guys are learning just the importance of every single possession, every single rebound, you know, in the playoff game? Yeah, I mean, um, we, we had we had some slippage in areas. Um, I know for sure I, I gave up two, um, two offensive rebounds myself. Um, I blew a defensive coverage where I could have been better. Um, we can go back and look look at a lot of things on the details of the basketball game and say we could get better. Um, I think we, we we just lost by we lost by three tonight and we didn't we didn't play great. I think we had a few turnovers that we can take care of the basketball. Um, me and CJ could have got some some better looks and been more aggressive at times, but um, I'm, I'm motivated um, for the next game. And you and CJ put up big numbers, but what did they kind of do just to, to limit everybody else and, you know, make it difficult to get those other guys involved? Um, well, we have to be better as facilitators and getting guys the basketball in the right spots and helping them feel comfortable and confident um, from the beginning to the end of the basketball game. So um, that's on us. That's on us to get everybody else involved and making sure that we set the table for everybody else. Brandon, when you say you're motivated for the next game, do you feel like you let maybe one slip tonight out of your grasp? Um, I mean, that's a good team. I don't know if we let one slip. We could have made a few more free throws. We had a couple turnovers. But like I said, um, I'm, 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 um, things happen for a reason. This, this night is going to carry on to Sunday and bring us some more fuel, especially at home where guys are really, really hungry and we got our fan base behind us. Brandon, you seem like you were in a really good offensive rhythm for a large part of this game. What's it going to take to get some of your teammates going? Is that going to be the emphasis for you in the next game? Um, yeah, of course. Um, everybody got to be effective on the basketball floor, whether it's offensive or defense, defensively. But myself, I'm going to do whatever it takes to um, continue to try to put wins on the back, on the board. Recording stopped.